So it's time for theme number two. <sighs> what are we talking about this week, Kyle? My favorite thing. One of them. One of them. <laughs> Binding. Binding is today. Yep. So all week we're talking about projects that are relaxing. And I know a lot of you would not put binding in the same sentence as relaxing. Let me, let me get my face straight. But up. that's right. <laughs> but I think it's very relaxing when you do it by hand. You don't like to do it by hand? Well, if no. I was putting it in a shell or I was giving someone a nice big quilt, mm -hmm. I would bind it. I used to bind them all by hand. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nope, we've got time for that. Oh, yeah. no time for that. Mm -mm. Oh, I love to buy I do, hand but I don't want to. Whenever we can. And so, yeah. I used to take it true. in the car all very the time. True. Yeah. But now my eyes aren't good and the right. bouncing. No, that's no, not very fun that, anymore. That wouldn't be fun. No. But if you can, like, curl up and, like, on your couch. It gives you warmth, too. It does. While you're doing it. Absolutely. And watch a good movie and just bind. Then it can be very, very relaxing. I don't mind it, but I don't want to. Oh, Karen says, thank goodness, because she's trying to bind placemats and can't figure it there out. There are some really good tricks that you're going to show that make a difference. I hope so. Yeah. I hope so. Cause I, it's something I really, really do enjoy doing. So, um, it's kind of funny because when, when we talked a little bit about this yesterday, but when Allison told us the theme for this week and she said, it's going to be, uh, projects to help you relax or relaxing projects. I chose, my mind went to the first scene was like machine embroidery because I think machine embroidery is very relaxing. So that's what I did yesterday. And then I also went to hand binding because I love to hand bind so much. Where did Allison's mind go? She went, and the others, like I obviously didn't get the memo, but the next few <laughs> days, everybody. you're going to get some other fun projects that are not necessarily relaxing, but they're projects that like remind you of relaxation. So Allison and Jackie are going to be talking about like eye masks. Oh, and then I know okay. Johnny and Sherry are going to be talking about beach bags. That's Ooh, relaxing. But yeah. I was like, oh, <laughs> I guess I missed the memo. I was thinking of projects that were relaxing. But to do. you People need to remember, and we talked about this last year when the state fairs and the county fairs mm -hmm. were going on. And we talked about all the things that they look at. When they judge quilts, and not everything is judged. No, no, no. no shouldn't no. be. No. But if you're going to do it, you have to remember that your binding is part of your quilt. It's true. Yeah. And and they prefer a hand-bound mm -hmm. quilt, right? Yeah. So just don't do anything for your binding. Yeah. Because it, it makes it a difference. It matter in the judging, if you're going to have judging. But I just, I love the look of hand-bound quilts more than they do look on the top. And um, I just find it very relaxing. So... Um, the first thing you're going to do is have a needle and thread and you want to have a sharp needle. Oh yeah. Have you ever tried doing yes. it with a dull needle? I tried oh, that fingers. too. That's why I it's, gave it up. Uh, uh, uh. So you want a really, Ooh, ow. Yeah, that hurts. <laughs> <laughs> you want a sharp needle. Ouchie. All right. And do you have like seven feet of thread? No, mm -mm. no, no. Tell us why. Because it knots. Yes, you do not want seven feet of thread. And you don't want to be going like this. You want about, I don't know, maybe 18 inches, I would say. You know, And you don't double it. No, I don't. Single some thread. Some people do. Mm -hmm. I do a single thread, but some people Are you going to show the knot that you do? Should I? Yes. Shall I? Yes. Because <laughs> it's magical. Not, it is magical. If you were with me in class uh, yesterday for the pizza box, we talked about this. Oh. But um, what you do to do a quilter's knot is you bring the thread from the bottom up to the top, wrap it around three times. I always say abracadabra, boom. And I grab onto that from the needle and I pull it down. I and love there that knot. You have a knot. I love it. So, all right, let's take a look. This is actually Sherry. We were looking for. Does anyone have something that we can bind? And this is one of the Make It Monday projects. It's nice. Yeah. Awesome. I love it. I told her that this so morning. She's like, like, "Oh, we're gonna bind me. today." She goes, "Oh, actually, I have this." <laughs> exactly. So the idea of hand binding is that you will stitch it on by machine on the front and mm -hmm. then you wrap it around because it back. looks professionally finished here. it really does sometimes your yeah. straight line isn't so straight yeah there <laughs> we go 
just saying. Just saying. My <laughs> friends. Her, my her friends, friends yeah. told her. Yes. And so <laughs> I got great friends. Yes. I'm like I said, I'm gonna have lunch with that friend yeah. sometime. Yeah, you should. Um, but uh the thing is, so like Kyle mentioned, keep your thread short. You don't want it too long, all right. You only need mm -mm. to do it as a single thread, there's no need to double it, and Usually, you're going to uh, do it the same color as your binding, right? Right. Now, Just in case. this binding is red, but I'm going to use yellow in effort in an effort to hopefully you might be able to see it better on the camera. I'm not quite sure. We'll see how it goes, right? But if I were doing it regularly, I would definitely have chosen red. I got a question. Yes. What kind of thread do you use? You use the same thread you sew with? I do. Yeah. Me too. I'm just using I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> <laughs> I use the the just a 50 weight cotton. Mm -hmm. Okay. So as I'm going, if you have any questions along the way, please, please, please let us know. Mm -hmm. And Kyle and I will do our best to help answer. If I all can right? see it. So um, all right. Now you see another thing right here before we begin, and these are also what Kyle consider, considers best. magical. They are magical. Tell us what these are. These are binding, or uh, I call them binding clips. Yep. They're wonder clips. Yep. And I love the rainbow. Oops, which one's rainbow? Right there. I love the rainbows because I love all the different colors. <laughs> They're so but cute. But I have so many in my hair. <laughs> <laughs> you could put them in your hair. That too bad we don't have I any know. extras Darn. out. Darn. I happen to have a well, few don't here. mess up your quilt. So, yeah. <laughs> there we go. So oh, darn cute. Yeah. So binding clips, people that way you don't find lose very it helpful. There you go. <laughs> now, Kyle and I had a discussion about this earlier. We did. And I actually I don't use binding clips. I don't use wonder clips when I bind. Do you use I prefer pins? no and I don't use pins. I just like to wrap it as I go, but it's totally a personal preference. Kyle loves yeah. the wonder clips. You see how this makes it all about the same um depth here? Yes. Because sometimes you can get it going all kinds of screwy ways. And yeah. this just makes it so you're not mm -hmm. turning it all the time. But yeah. she's got the technique down but these but are amazing. I know a lot of people who love them. And so it's and just totally up to you. There's a right and a wrong side to them. There's a flat. Yeah, there is. There is a flat side to them mm -hmm. for sure. And did you know the flat side even has markings on them? I don't what? know how well you can see that. What kind of yes. markings? Well, markings that will help you. Like if you're trying to get it into a certain, I almost put this pin in my mouth, but oh, I would not do don't that. Do that here. Mm -hmm. So, um, there's markings so that when you go to clip it, you can like oh, you get them all the same measure length. and have it be the same length. Did you know that? I learned something new. There you go. That's amazing. So then you can have them all the same. If nice. you were that, you know, if you were trying to be that precise, I am. All right, of course, of no. course. All right, so let's take a look. Let's pull this screen down here. And I really hope I can do a good job of showing this on the camera because I know it's a little tricky here. So you saw that I already put a knot in. So how do we begin? Well, I'm going to actually get pretty close to the corners because I want to show you a corner move too. Can First you start of all, at a corner? I don't. Some people do. I usually just start somewhere in the middle, but you're going to see uh, stitch lines from, you know, when it came together. Mm -hmm. So the idea is you just um, cover just over that stitch line. That's where you, this That's stitch where is where you had sewed, sewed it on. Uh -huh. Sewn your binding exactly. on the front. Yep, exactly. And the idea here is that you want to hide the the knot underneath the binding. Mm -hmm. So that's the first way you begin. So how do I do that? Well, I just go into that seam just like mm -hmm. that. All right. And I pull it through. And now my knot is hidden underneath mm -hmm. the binding. When I bring the binding over top, there we go. It's hidden. Now I could take a little, I'm going to take a little pair of scissors here and just cut it a little bit closer to the knot. Okay. So I have the knot hidden underneath the binding. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to bring it up and over. All right. Just to uh, 
beyond the stitch line. Uh-huh. So now I go into the back of my quilt and I come up about a quarter inch into um, now the binding. But when I go into the binding, the fold, I'm going into the fold. Mm. Exactly. Yeah. All right. So I have, and you just took a teeny that. tiny little catch, teeny tiny catch. Now, this is also really important. When you go, when you do this, what I want you to get into the practice of doing is you bring that thread straight down from where you came up. I don't want you to do it at an angle. Um, and that's one of the things that I Why? learned over the years. Well, when you do it at an angle, there's more chances for the thread Catching to be it. seen. Okay. Oh. You think about that. There's more space oh, there yes. going at an angle rather than outside. if you were to come straight down. Mm -hmm. So get into the habit of coming straight down. Now I come straight down. I right put from it, where you came up. Uh-huh. I put it into the back. I'm going to go about a quarter inch. Okay. And I go into the fold, of mm -hmm. so which is on my red. I'm coming into the fold. And then, whoops, I just unthreaded that. Mm. Hold on. That happens. Please hold. <laughs> <laughs> A service announcement. <laughs> oh, boy. We're oh, going to see how go. good Chris's yep, eyes are. All right. There we Ooh, go. Good job. Woof. All right. Okay. So I come straight down and into the fold. You're trying to get those pretty even? Yeah. And then it pulls tight. Now I go. You're not straight going all the way down. through the front of your quilt. No, good point, Kyle. You definitely want to make sure that you're not coming up through the front. You're just catching the backing. Exactly. All right. So I'm going to come straight down and to my left. And, you know, some people find it easier to come uh, from left to right. I find it easier to go right to left. Yeah. See, I'd go the other way. I'm left handed. Uh huh. Yeah, so it just depends on where you're going. And pretty soon, you're going to just really enjoy this process, all right? Good. And look, Kyle, I mm -hmm. used a yellow thread, but you cannot no. even That's see it. That's the beauty of that uh, stitch. This stitch, if you do it correctly, it's going to go right into the mm -hmm. fold, and you won't even see it. So, yes, I still like to use the red thread just mm -hmm. in case you were to see any part of it. But you notice right here, you do not see any of that yellow. All right. And look so, at how even that binding is because you use those clips. <laughs> Way to go, Chris. There you <laughs> go. <laughs> there you go. So down and over again, now, I'm going into I've the fold. I've heard some people talk about using a clear thread. You could. Yeah, you definitely But you don't could. need to. No. No, you don't need to. Sorry, guys. I'm going to. There we go. <clears throat> this is a little tricky showing this on camera here. But again, going down. Can they see that? And yeah. into the fold. Yeah. Can you nice. Watch that. Make sure that's being seen. Now, when you do it this way, this really, that has a tight, um, that has a tight hold on the back. Nice I mean, stitch. There is no, nothing coming up from mm -hmm. it, right? All right, so now this is the next part where um, sometimes we get a little nervous. So let me show you how we, we get, get into the, the corner. Edge. Yeah. Whoops. Cindy taught me one time about stitching on a binding and going out to the corner and all this. Uh-huh, yep. Okay. I don't always do it. <laughs> it depends on how uh, how much time, time you want to take, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. Now, I will also say this. Do I hand stitch every quilt? No. And I'll tell you the times I don't. Uh, I will absolutely quilt it by or stitch it by machine if it is a quilt that is going to be washed over yeah, and over like and baby over quilt again. Or something. Yes, like a baby quilt, mm -hmm. a camping throw, mm -hmm. something like that that's going to be have to withstand multiple washings. I will absolutely do both by machine. Oh, okay. Okay. I was it's, like, it's just definitely stronger. Yeah. Okay. Now we get to a corner, right? So what I want you to do is you go all the way up until like the, 
stitch line mm -hmm. from that corner. I have that down. I'm going to put my thumb do down on to top do of it. Do I have to do opposite what it folded in the front? That is very helpful. That's a good point. Um, you can see that on the front, it's <clears throat> put this top, this side is over top of this side. So um, this time on the back, I'm going to go this side down and this side over top. Just lays Just, flatter? It does. It lays flatter. You're going to get a better mitered corner there. Because right? I notice these things. <laughs> Not. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, Kyle, what we're going to do here Ugh. is we're going to come up through the corner. Same thing that we've always done, but now oh, we're going to travel. Just catching the binding. Uh huh. I'm just catching the binding. Now we need to travel up to the corner. There's a couple ways you can do this. One, you could do a little whip stitch and do like three stitches where you go down and again right into the fold. Now, especially this is why I'd want to be using red thread is because chances are you could see this a little bit more, mm -hmm. but look, at it, we don't. Now, why and do we do this? We can do that. Just finishes it off nicely? It does. It just finishes it off nicely. So you could do like three stitches traveling up. Whoops. Now I got a question. When you machine bind, do you go up there with no. your machine? I don't even. No. Nope. When I Thank machine bind, I do not do that. All right. So I come up and I traveled to the top. And now I'm going to travel down and I don't have to redo that stitch. All I'm going to do is simply Ooh. place my needle in the top, run it down to the bottom. Kind of in that fold. Or... And yep. And peekaboo, there it is on the other side. And I just bring this right back down on top of itself. Ta -da. You don't want to pucker it, but you want it tight. Yeah. So what Look I'll do. Look how pretty that is. Yeah. Thanks. So I'll put my thumb over top and then I pull on this mm -hmm. so that it doesn't pucker, um, but it's nice and, and taut. And look at, look at how that joined up the corner. That joined up perfectly, didn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah. So That's what you're trying to get. I'm just going to turn mm -hmm. this, rotate this, and now go this way. So again, I just, I'm now in that fold. I come straight down and over about a quarter inch. You could do between like a quarter inch, maybe three eighths of an inch. It's just a good idea to just be consistent. I I always see on Pinterest, which I have lots of Pinterest fails, where they mark on their finger. Oh, I've seen that yeah, too. That's, I'm like, that, no. that sounds awful. Mm -hmm. nope. <laughs> I, don't, I don't, yeah, no. I'm like, nah, no. But I've seen that too where they but mark But once you finger. do this for a little while, you got oh, it down. Oh, you get the hang of this. And mm -hmm. it's, you know, if it's not perfect, it's fine. Ugh. It's totally fine. It's handmade. And you just continue to go around. Now, how do you finish it off, Kyle? Do you know how? Mm, big how old do you knot. Usually, yeah, big old knot. We got to hide the knot. <laughs> we can, yeah, we need to hide the knot. And so to, let's say that I was finished doing this, mm -hmm. right? Oh, let me tell you one more thing. You always, you don't want to pull too much from the back front to the back or else you're, what you're, what's going to happen mm -hmm. is you're going to get this little, yeah. little binding in the back and the a big old binding good. in the, or a little binding in the front, a big old binding in the back. That's not going to look good. The clips so, yes, make it that's, so that's you're good measurement. You're absolutely right. It would be good measuring for being able to do, um, to have everything nice and even. That way you don't get stuck with a pin. We all talked about the pins. Oh, yes. Yep. Oh, yes. All right, so you just continue going around and around. Okay. Now, so when you're done, what I do is I place it one more time into the back of the quilt mm -hmm. and where it's like underneath, okay? Mm -hmm. And I just create a knot right there. So I bring it up. Oh, yep. I have a loop mm -hmm. that I go through. You don't have to have a giant knot. And I knot and I do it one more time and I loop and pull that through so I've got a knot and then I take it just one step further where I will actually put and it those. back in there again and then I will go as far as my mm -hmm. needle will go into underneath. the back underneath because that's already stitched yep and then just pull this out and then you'll clip that uh-huh and then we'll nice. just clip it Oof. 
Let's see. That's really hard. Can you hold that right mm -hmm. there? Okay. So then we'll just clip it right there. Okay. I'm very and good. It. <laughs> <laughs> and look how beautiful that turned out. I'm impressed. Right there. So I do like a hand binding. I do. It it does it just, I just don't know. looks it really just finishes nice. it off really nicely. Now you're not in quilters jail if you don't use a hand binding, right? No, no, because it's Free all pass. good. <laughs> That's right. Marcia asks, but how do you do it when you are at the very end? You'll still go underneath you your still binding. You still go underneath the binding. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. And yep. You'll... Absolutely. Yep. How do you knot it when you have all the binding on? You would just, um, yeah. Let's let's pretend. Oh, hold on a second. Do, do, do. There we go. Those Lego people want to help us. <laughs> yes, they do. <laughs> so if you were at the very end, you would simply do a knot right there and just... And then just and make then sure just, it goes underneath. Mm -hmm. And then in just the trim it. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, so that's it. That's as easy as it is. I mean, it really is very simple. And if you will just take the time to breathe and enjoy the process. Don't wait till the last minute. And don't you got a gift and have to have it done for the morning. Because three in the morning, mm -hmm. your stitches are getting really big. <laughs> it's so true. It's so true. And it doesn't look good if you half put it on by hand and half machine. My friend told me that. There you go. Not a good Not idea. Not a good idea. <laughs> There you go. I've never there you go. Done that. No, of course not. Jeez. All right. Let's see. Um, let me go back and scroll through, see if we've got any questions. Um, oh, interesting. Mary said, Wow, I've been going it not or probably doing it not quite right for a long time. Thanks for the demo. You're welcome, Mary. I mean, you know, really, if it worked for you, then it's that's what I was going to say. Fine. If it stays on, don't don't beat yourself up over mm -mm. it, right? Mm -mm. Don't There's beat more than one over. way to do it. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. I don't use a thimble. No, Donna, I don't. Now you could. That's why you need a sharp needle so it goes through the fabric. Exactly. And if you're, because really you have to remember, you're not really going through the batting and everything. Nope. You're just going <laughs> through that top layer of the backing, right? Except I did a quilt, a memory quilt. Oh, oh don't I, get her started on her memory quilt. Okay. I learned lots of lessons. Sh should we pull up the popcorn and listen about your memory quilt? No, I'll be good. I'll be good. Just don't put the, the heavy, thick no, stuff on the edge. No, tell them why. Tell them why. Because this is important. Okay. Yeah. So I did a memory quilt for my nephew, and they gave me sweatshirts. They gave me silk blouses mm -hmm. and skirts and all kinds of fabric. And I said, sure, it's a memory quilt. Right. But I learned a big lesson. Do not put the seams out by your binding, because you've got to get through that seam. There's a lot of stitching. So you I tried to do it a, a lot of layers for yes, that. Because mm -hmm. you cut your back, your yeah. batting, and whatever's on the top, and it wouldn't fit through my sewing machine. So I had to <laughs> put it on by hand. And I did not say nice words. But mostly it was made with love. But mostly. Mostly. <laughs> and they with love it. <laughs> uh -huh. They loved it. Oh they my god. It. it reminds her of her mom. Yeah, that's what's that's most all, important. Absolutely. But I, I learned know. big lessons. There you go. Don't put seams on the edges. <laughs> mm -mm. Um, Alice asked, do you ever press the binding before stitching? Actually, I do. Oh, yeah. Do you? Well, yeah, when, before I even put it on? No. I Well, I don't know if that's what you meant or um, if if I, I'm taking it, what you're talking about is when it's sewn onto the front first, do you ever press it out? I do. And you don't, and that's okay. Tomato, tomato. Yeah, I do. I do sometimes. Mm -mm. No, <laughs> that's no. right. So I do. Oh, I'm getting I like it to... done. I'm getting it I done. press it with an iron so it goes out. It's a good and idea. Then I pull it back. It's because that know. pressing just, does make a difference. I learned a that. habit. I'm in. I don't know. Oh, good job. There you go. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with not pressing. Thank you. I like you <laughs> a lot. 
<laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Oh, Barb, she's 56. How long does it take to enjoy hand sewing? <laughs> Uh, you know what? It's not for everyone, right? I remember in high school, this girl made a dress all with hand stitching. Oh, she wow. She's the same one that made underwear out of leopard. Wow. We're like scandalized. <laughs> they were granny panties. <laughs> they were awesome. Oh, my gosh. I have heck. the best stories. Oh, my gosh, you do. Just hang out with her for a day and... Yeah, oh, you can't man. get me to make clothes. Oh, no, 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 no. I no, did no. it, and no one told no. me they run small. <laughs> oh, my gosh, you're so funny. Um, mm -hmm. Barbara asked, do you run your thread through wax? I don't. Do you? No. No. Why? Well, you could if you're having problems with tangling. Oh, yeah. Right? That's why you don't use too long a thread. But that's why we keep short thread, and then you usually don't have to worry about it. Threading that needle is a lot of fun. At 10 o'clock or 1 o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, Debbie asks, will you be demonstrating the ladder stitch for binding? I didn't on this one. I could certainly show you the ladder stitch, but I will tell you, I actually prefer this stitch better mm -hmm. when it comes to binding. Now, I use the ladder stitch all day long when it comes to, like, closing up a pillow. You've got this seam and you've got this seam, and you're trying to put them together. So what I'll do is a ladder Ooh. stitch that goes into the fold and over and this way and that way. If you were doing a ladder stitch on binding, I just don't you think lost it's... the needle. <laughs> Where did the needle go? Oh, there it is. Look at I found it. <gasps> ding, ding, ding. I saw it. Maybe I should have had my needle minder on. You should have. Where is that? It's mm -hmm. so cute. Put it on. Go ahead. I'll put go it on. ahead. Oh, well, I saw I the clip I'm gonna, in my hair. I'm gonna, yes. No, do. I don't. It's gone. No, it's in there. It is. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's on that side. Yeah. <laughs> Look at. Oh, that's this strong. is so cute, you guys. Look at this. Check this out. Okay, let me see if I can get How this lucky started. am I? That's darling. It is really cute. Okay. I'm going <laughs> to. Look. I'll show you. A that stayed. Demo. Look at that. <laughs> there you go. Let's see what else. That's why I should have had one of those mm -hmm. on me. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay. My needle threaded. So ladder stitch on binding. It's a little bit different. Same concept. Let me pull that together. Um, ooh, let's see. Okay been a long time since I've done this one but you go into the fold still trying to hide your knot still hiding the knot yep and now for the ladder stitch you're going you're only going through okay when you look at binding there are two layers of binding right because mm -hmm. we folded it in half with the ladder stitch you're only going through the bottom layer of the binding Okay, so we're going to poke that. Oh, sheesh. There we go. Poke it through the middle. And then it goes into the Do you know what? I think back. that's what I do. And then poke it through the middle. But mm -hmm. but it's actually not the middle. Uh, well, it's the bottom, bottom layer, which is just a little tricky. It's not hard, but it just takes a little man more maneuvering. Because mm -hmm. I like to come out through the fold, and this one doesn't. Oh, it doesn't? Well, it's, it does a little bit, but you're staying on oh, the I bottom think that's layer. What Sherry did? Is that what she did? Mm -hmm. so. so I actually find it a little bit tighter the other way, but it's up to you. So I again, think I made up my own. Did you? <laughs> hey, <laughs> if it did. works. Yeah. So you never come up through the top of that no. fold, you're always in the in bottom. The fold. Mm -hmm. hmm. And so, ow, there you go. All right. So I can, I don't know. I just don't find it. I find it more intuitive just to go up and down, but through the top fold. So it's totally a personal preference. But again, the ladder would be bottom fold, bottom layer of the fold, I should say. Bottom layer of the fold through the bottom. So you don't bottom. see it. And no, you will not see it, but you can look at that, Kyle. Yeah, I do see a little lifting. You see, there is a little bit of lifting mm -hmm. with that ladder mm -hmm. stitch. That's why I prefer the other stitch because I can still lift with right. the ladder stitch right. on the side. So I hope that makes sense. Um, okay. Whew. Um, 
and Peg has only ever done the ladder stitch on binding. Oh, really? Yeah, so you certainly, you know, it's you what you're used you to want. and what you're more, you know, comfortable with. I loved it with. when I first started. Mm -hmm. Everybody would say, it's your quilt. You can do it how you want. The boss. There are not as many rules as there used to be. When I first started, everybody There's, had rules. Oh, Yes, I'm for like, sure. Nah, and then nobody, for me. Then nobody enjoyed quilting. No, no, I'm like, I'm out. <laughs> so, so you know, give yourself some grace. Can I have the needle, please. Sure. <laughs> there you go. Gonna stick it right there. Give yourself some grace to just do the things that you enjoy doing and the things that seem more comfortable, more natural. Yeah, this for is about you. enjoyment. Mm -hmm. So, speaking of enjoyment, here we go. Look at that. How adorable is that? Let's, uh, you guys, we've done theme number one and theme number two. Let's, uh, this is so cute. 